Salawam Yasurala. Before I get started with today's lesson, I'm going to turn to the east and give all praise to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Sai, Bahasim, Ha, Rakar, Kadus. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and taught me this truth. And peace and salutation to you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe, preaching this gospel in truth and sincerity. All right, I'm Brother Yash from Louisiana Saints Camp, back with another lesson on gold and silver and the RFID chip. Okay? Because there's a high spike in gold going up now, okay? And silver is increasing. And Elder Apostle Tahar of GMS, he did, a, uh, he did two lessons on it recently about how gold is just shooting sky high, silver is just shooting sky high. Now, why is this? So we're going to talk about what is real money, and we're going to talk about what is fiat money, okay? And to get it started, and then we're going to go into that radio frequency identification chip, and that's what the currency they're going to use uh, once this uh, fiat currency goes down, okay? So let's start at... Genesis, oops, Genesis 13 and 1, alright, Genesis 13 and 1, and Abraham went up to, went up out of Egypt, he and his wife and all that he had, and Lot with him, and to the south, and Abraham was very rich, okay, Abraham was very rich in what? In cattle, in silver, and in gold, okay? So as you can see, cattle is, is wealth, silver, and gold is the real riches, okay? That does never depreciate, all right? It holds its value, all right? So that's why now that this economy is collapsing, it's on its last leg, all right? So you're going to see... All hell break out in these streets pretty soon because these people are going to realize everything they worked for was for nothing. All right? And you Israelites, everything you do, according to Haggai, all, all your money goes into your pocket, a pocket full of holes. Let's see if I can get that. Let's see if I can get that for you. All right? Because this currency is over with. And ain't nobody uh, dealing with this American money because everybody's use, losing confidence in it. 519. All right. Let's see. I'm going to get Haggai for you. All right. Haggai. The book of Haggai. 1 and verse 7. Okay, book of Haggai, chapter 1 and verse 6. Ye have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye have ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earned wages, earned wages to put into a bag with holes. And that's you Israelites, man. Everything you earn goes right back to Esau Edom, okay? And, and so you might get paid Friday, but three hours later, you're broke, all right? You, this currency isn't shit, man. You can't keep money for, 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 for nothing. Why? Because you're under curses, okay? So the money that you're using, this fiat currency money, isn't even real, all right? And you can't even keep that, all right? Because you're under curses. You got to go to the want of Esau. You got to go to Esau for the want of everything, electricity, shelter, water, food, all right, we got to go to this devil for everything, all right? So that's Haggai, all right? Let you know that all the money that you were working for anyway, anyways, it didn't mean anything, okay? Because you, you can't keep money, all right? It's like you putting it in a pocket full of, full of a, a pocket with a hole. And you know that money going to run, going to go straight out of that pocket, all right? Because it's got a hole in it, okay? So real money is gold and silver and cattle. Let's go to Genesis 24 and 35. All right, Genesis chapter 24 and, 35, and, 30, and 34. And he said, I am Abraham's servant. Okay, this is Abraham's servant speaking. And the Lord had blessed my master greatly. Talking about Abraham. 
and he he has become great and he had given him and he had given him and and he had given him flocks and herds and silver and gold and men servants and maid servants and camels and asses so you can see hey this is the true wealth i'm gonna read that again all right and the lord had blessed my master greatly and he has become great with what with substances resources all right and he had given him flocks all right that's cattle and herds and silver okay that's money silver and gold and men servants okay slaves are are, are considered money too okay and maid servants and camels and asses all right Th those resources are true money this fiat currency is is nothing it's not backed up by gold and silver since the 1970s so everybody's just been believing in it off of faith off of confidence meanwhile the elites have been heaping up all of the wealth for themselves and giving all of the rest of the world fake money that means absolutely nothing and it's about to it's about to crash and you can see that once this thing crashed man hey you're gonna realize that money that you worked your whole life for wasn't nothing all right it was just paper money and it at least got rich by hoarding up all the silver and the gold man all right let's go to proverbs all right because real money this this fiat money that we play with that's monopoly money okay there's nothing real about it all right uh proverbs chapter 13 and 7 proverbs chapter 13 and 7 there is there is that making himself rich. There is that making himself rich, yet had nothing. There is that making himself poor, yet had great riches. And see, Esau, Edom, these guys think they got money, but they have nothing, all right? The men who have the, all the wealth and knowledge and wisdom of this Bible, they're the rich. They're the rich, okay? The ones who are rich in spirit, you Israelites, all right? All right, the elect, the 144,000 and the one-third, we have the true riches. Why? Because we got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This shit that they, they are, uh, all these other people working for is fake. All right? It, 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 it's, it's nothing. Okay? So, let's drop down to verse 22. Proverbs 13 and 22. A good man leave it an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of, a sin, of the sinner is laid up for the just. All of this money that these, uh, Elites are heaping up. That's going to be for the men of the Lord. That's going to be for the just. That's for Israel. They're going to have to cough up all the things they stole. And they're going to have to give it back to Israel. Okay? Alright? Because that's not for them. Alright? So their letter in is going to be horrible. Alright? Let's go to James 5 and 1. James chapter 5 verse 1 and it reads go to now ye rich men weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you yeah because you elite you about to catch hell man all right hey hey your system is going down your enterprise which is the radio frequency identification chip is not going to come to pass all right so hey you, your time is coming man so you, you should go reap from howling for great miseries man this whole system is going down, and it's not going to, uh, your, your radio frequency identification chip isn't going to go uh, go as planned, all right? Verse 2, your riches are corrupted, see? The, the, this fiat money system is corrupted, all right? All right? And your garment are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is crankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. That's the intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Right, because you're going to have to cough all that up and give it to the Israelites, the real men of the Lord. All right? Verse 4. 
Behold, see, they heaped all of the gold and all of the silver and all of the, you know, precious resources, all right? And they gave the masses fake money, man. That's why these people, when they realize what you've done, they're going to fucking go after the politicians. They're going to go after the government. They're going to go after the president. And that's why you see they protesting in, uh, in front of government officials' uh, buildings. All right, now Trump has to send in uh, federal troops, okay, to uh, keep the to keep the peace, so called. But we all know that's not to keep the peace. And it's gonna get progressively worse until it's all out hell on these streets. All right, all right. So they didn't heap all of this money up for the last days, man. And and and, and guess what? That money gonna be for us. Okay, verse 4. Behold, the hire of your laborers who have reaped down your fields, which of you kept back by fraud. Everything they do is fraud. Cry and cry and cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ear of the Lord of Sabot, man. Everything that you uh, took for the, from, from the Israelites, guess what? We're going to get that back, man. And the Lord sees everything. Ain't nothing new under the sun, all right? He still requires what you've done in slavery and what you've done for the last 500 years, okay? And all you nations, all right? So real money is silver, gold, cattle, resources, men servants, women servants, all right? And fake uh, currency, this fake currency that Esau is giving everybody is, is going down. It's on its last leg, all right? And this place is so divided that uh, Nancy Pelosi had to get on uh, live television to say today and beg the Republicans to pass that unemployment uh, stimulus. So people who are receiving six hundred dollars in stimulus, hey, they can uh, continue to live uh, to kill you to, to survive. Because if they don't, millions of people are going to be homeless. Millions of people are going to are going to die. All right, as a as a result of them not uh, extending in the, extending this uh, unemployment money, all right. And if you do take this, uh, if they do pass where they extend it, guess what? Hyperinflation is going to kick in. Okay. Uh, Revelation six and six, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, "A measure of wheat for a penny." And three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Basically, hyperinflation, man. All right, your your money is being devalued to where it's going to cost more. It's going to take more of your dollars to buy a product that you used to buy for like let's say a twenty five dollar twenty five cent chips. All right, about ten years ago, chips were like twenty five dollars for the little bag, and now that same bag. It's 59 cents, all right? All right, it's the same dollar, but it depreciated, so you need more money to buy that same $25 bag, 25 cent bag. You need uh, more money to purchase it, purchase it now. On top of that, they're not putting, they're taking away the product, all right? So they're giving you half of the bag full of air, and then the other half of the bag full of chips. Less product for more money. That's hyperinflation. And that's what America is about to experience, experience hyperinflation. Where this where the currency inflates itself like Zimbabwe, where your currency is meaningless. It means nothing. Alright? That's where we're going with this, okay? Let me get you that radio frequency identification chip. Cause see, once this system goes down, uh once the system goes down, gold and silver is gonna always remain, all right? But guess what? They got something in the constant they got something in the legislation where, hey, in a time of war, in a time of uh state of emergency, they could take your food, they could take your money. So that ain't gonna mean nothing. And these when these stormtroopers come over here, they're not gonna be looking for that silver and gold. They're gonna want blood for what America has done to all these different nations. Alright? So where was I at? Okay, the radio frequency identification chip. So, that gold and, and, and shit ain't going to mean nothing after a while either because the radio frequency identification is the new currency, all right? The new digital currency that everybody's going to have to abide by, hey, or else you're going to get killed. You're not going to be able to eat, drink, all right? The men of the Lord will, but all you other peons, you won't, okay? 
All right, verse uh, Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great. All right, people that are high in this society and people that are low in this society. All right, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, people that got money and people that don't have any money. Okay, people like Oprah Winfrey, uh, uh, Michael Jordan. All right, they got a lot of money. And then you got your blue collar uh, workers that don't really have no money. All right, you got your people that work into and in, uh, restaurants and stuff. They don't really make too much money. Okay, both of them. All right, uh, and it says free and bond. So people that are bond in jail and people that are free walking around America, okay, walking around out here in the world, receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, all right? That's that radio frequency identification chip which they're going to stick in your your right hand or your forehead or anywhere on your body. All right? If you take that chip, it symbolizes that Esau is your god and he's branding you Okay, letting you letting you let you know that you're his cattle, his slave. All right. Verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell. So there ain't gonna be no business conduct a uh, business uh being conducted if you don't have this mark. You're not gonna be able to buy food, buy anything. All right. You ain't gonna be able to buy anything, okay, or sell anything if you don't have this radio frequency identification chip. Save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beast, for it is number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. And on the barcode of all of these universal uh, barcodes, that six 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 is on there. Okay, and on one side and in the middle and on the other side. All right. So this devil is about to collapse this economy. All right, all right. Gold and silver is definitely suiting up at an all-time high. All right, because the money is is worth nothing. The confidence in the fiat currency is 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 gone. Russia, Iran, all these other nations are not dealing with that money. Okay, and and then America's went around and put sanctions on all these countries, so they can't deal with it. All right, China. Look at the trade war with China, and now we're beefing with China at an all-time high. All right, so with the with all of the Beefing that is going on between these different countries, they, they're not using the dollar. So wait, what's going to happen to the dollar? All that money is going to come back here, and what's going to happen? It's going to hyperinflate to where your money is going to be useless. And if they give you this stimulus uh, for unemployment, that's going to hyperinflate it. All right? The Democrats want to want to pass a $3.4 trillion bill so we can pump more fake money into the currency. And that's going to cause hyperinflation. So... This fiat money that we use is fake. Real money is silver, gold, uh, men's servants, women's servants, cattle, stuff like that. They're crashing the economy to roll out the new uh, world order, which is that radio frequency identification chip. And the Lord is going to put a monkey ranch in they shit. All right? To where it ain't going to get, it ain't going to come to fruition. And let me bring out another scripture. That proves that. Let us go to Job. Job. All right. Let's go to Job. Job chapter 5 and verse 12. Job chapter 5 and verse 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. Who's the crafty? Esau, es Esau Edom, the so-called white man, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. What is their enterprise? The radio frequency identification chip. New world order, all right, under one government so they can watch everything and pretend like they're God, all right, when you just a man. All right.
Bear with me for one moment. Bear with me for one moment. All right, Job, chapter 20 and verse, Job, chapter 20 and verse 15, he had swallowed down riches and he shall vomit them up again. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shall cast them out of his belly. belly. So all of the, the riches that you got. Hey, you're going to cast them things up, all right? Everything is going to be restored to the Israelites. Everything. Everything that this devil took it for us is going to be restored back to us, okay? The Lord is going to make sure of that, all right? Verse, let's go down to uh, Job 20 and 23. When he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh by Shemiah shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. That means that you're not going to fulfill your new world order. You're not going to get this radio frequency identification chip uh, fully uh, fully implemented. All right? The most high is going to throw a monkey wrench in your shit, man. So let's recap. Gold and silver is real money along with cattle, men, servants, and, uh, you know, natural resources. And also... This fiat money is fake money and it's collapsing right now. That's why gold and silver prices are, are going sky high, okay? And also, this radio frequency identification chip is about to be implemented where it be mandatory for you to take it. Now, they're starting with the mandatory vaccines, but they're going to ease it into the radio frequency identification chip. Or they could put the, the, the chip in the vaccines, okay? All right? So, that's what we have currently happening, man. All right, this devil kingdom is over with. The money system is over with and destroyed. And the men of the Lord are extremely happy. Why? Why? Okay. Ecclesiasticus, one of my favorite, uh, also known as Sirach 25 and 7. All right. There be nine things. There be nine things which I have have judged in my heart to be happy. And the tent I will utter with my tongue. A man that had joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the to see the fall of his enemy. Alright? And we're seeing the fall of our enemy. Alright? Kwam Yasarala. Ababa Ball and Salawam Akim. Salawam.